I wanted to ask you, but I know it was a couple of years ago, but you worked on a project that's kind of dear to my heart, which was the Time Tunnel remake. Oh, God. I was that was, a that was, fan. that was, I'll tell I gladly tell you about that one, because that was the, maybe the single best film experience that I've ever had. And, and that doesn't necessarily mean that I think that the final product was the best product I've ever been on, although I enjoyed it. It just meant that from top to bottom, that show for me was so um, fulfilling and empowering and enjoyable. I, I'm, I'm by nature, I'm quite a shy, reclusive kind of guy. I spend most of my time just reading on my own, except now I have a son, so that part of my life doesn't <laughs> exist anymore. But I used to read all the time, and that was it, and I wasn't very social. And I don't generally hang out with actors that much because I like to do my own thing. But on that show, I bonded with everybody immediately. We went out, for the whole cast went out for dinner every single night. Every weekend, we went out together, and we shot for about five or six weeks. And we were so tight on that show. And Todd Holland, the director, and Ran Ravitch, who uh, wrote and produced, were such a joy to work with and have, been, and have continued to be really helpful in my career and, and are still trying to be uh, in furthering things. Um, when we finished that project, they were almost assured by Fox that they were a pickup. We were told, mm -hmm. and actually, I was hired only as the guest star of that episode. And oh, about, really? Yeah, only as the guest star. And about halfway through, um, Todd and, the, and all the producers from Fox called me into the trailer and sat me down, and I thought I was <laughs> summarily being canned or something. <laughs> And uh, they sat me down, and they were just like, you know what? We just want you to know that the show wouldn't be nearly as good without you, and if we get picked up, you're on full time. Uh, and that was so – it's just a confidence lift. It just really yeah. boosted my morale and stuff. And I, and I think also because on that show that I was enjoying it so much, to get that kind of feedback was such a pleasure. And um, my understanding – is that from what I heard, the reasons why it didn't get picked up in the end was that the powers that be at Fox thought that ultimately it was a little too, uh, it would fly over the heads of too many people, that it wasn't quite mm -hmm. um, simple enough for everybody. That's a bad word, but you know what I mean. Yeah, and, but I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and that the budget was a tad on the high side. I think back then they were looking at originally one nine to two an episode, and for not having any star power on the show per se and however many years ago that was they thought the budget was like you know 25 percent too high so they tried to cut some things and then fox ended up by the time they kind of came in with a decent budget fox had gotten behind joss whedon's project and had really gone full bore with that and it basically dropped time tunnel and had were you ever were you familiar with the original one or not i had definitely seen the series when i actually you know when i first read for that um it was a very weird scenario that day. I was just out at a picnic and got a call and said, yeah, sure, I'll come in. Went and read for it. And for whatever reason, sometimes when you do an audition, they just, as soon as you walk in, they just love you. And it, and it felt great. And uh, they called back and said, we'd love to go. And I didn't know of the series then. So I, it was a tad bit before my time as, as a youngster. So mm -hmm. I went out and rented the series and uh, watched a few of them. I thought it was really um, funny and campy the way they'd done and yep. stuff, and I was very curious to see how, th what sort of new style they were going to take to it. I loved the character. I thought it was great. I thought it was an intelligent show. Um, and uh, just uh, sort of to jump ahead to tell visually where they went. Did, have you seen it? Oh, yeah, and I'm gonna, I don't know if you know that they packaged it with yes, the I, time tunnel. I did know that. I found that out uh, a while ago. Um, but in watching that show, there is a scene where a bomber flies overhead mm -hmm. that was all CGI and a war scene that we sort of uh, get transplanted into that was so fantastic. It, the quality was so great that it was – when I saw that, I was like, oh, my God, if this gets picked up, it's going to be like this every week. We're going to – I got a little ahead of myself. It's the only time in my career that I've actually let myself get a, just a mm. tad bit and put the cart before the horse and got really excited and 
and was really looking forward to that show going, and then in the end it didn't happen, and I, I know better now. So. <laughs> well, I'm I, sorry to bring that up in that no, case. No, it's but, okay. I don't mind yeah. talking about that show. I could talk about that show till the end of time. It was a I joy. did like it. I, it was a really and, – and remakes, you always kind of walk in going, oh, and yeah. I was very familiar with the original one. Oh, and okay. it was, um But it was really neat. It was definitely perplexing uh, through the beginning. It was yes, like hard to grab hold. That's exactly what they what, – what, what, Fox had a problem with. They thought it was just a little, like some of the subtle things, like driving in the car and the light, the green light, red yeah, light kind exactly. of thing. A lot of people were just like, "What the fuck does that mean?" <laughs> you know. Yeah, so I, so exactly. it was. There was some of that. I I found it really different and neat and unique. And maybe it would have found a place now because <laughs> some of the things are more along that vein now. Um, but uh, back then, they, they decided to go in a different direction, which to this day is one of my biggest letdowns. Um, yeah, yeah, it did, and the relationships were looking really good on there, which that show, you know, totally sells. Well, most shows. I mean, I think that Atlantis works also because of the relationships um, on the shows. If it was just the same, if it was just, you know, fight the monster every week, we wouldn't yeah, be as broad. Yeah, uh, exactly. I think it's always the other relationships between the characters that make something go. Mm-hmm. And and that, I, I really believe that that cast that we had on, on Time Tunnel was, was special, and I think that it uh, it could have been something really interesting. Yeah. And it's, and it's uh, oh, now you got me pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> Well, especially remakes are hot now. Come on, Night Rider. I know. So go, yeah. Pull it back out and go. But you know what? Love the DVD and that you know it was that we're able to see it. That that because how many pilots? Yeah, exactly. Never see the light today. I would say ninety five percent of them. You know, unless it was shot as a an MOW as a right. backdoor pilot or something like that. You know, it, yeah, you're not going to see many of them at all. 